Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will start learning how to use S Pen Plus. All right, and in this video, our case will be how to model a Rankine cycle in this software. All right, so now we are inside the S Pen Plus. You can see we are inside the component folder and specifications. First, we input Steam here by typing in steam and automatically we will have this one type conventional component name of course water the alias h2o okay and then we go to this one method okay and then we will find in this method name you can follow me i'm looking for IAPWS, this one, IAPWS formulation 1995 for the thermodynamic properties of water. All right, that's the point. This is the current, this is the current standard of International Association for the properties of water and steam. Okay, and thus we will select IAPWS-95 okay and we are ready to go to simulation environment so we go to here and we will wait for the software to be ready okay and then this is our environment you can see it's different from HiSys. now our model palette is located here Okay, we have material here and mixer, splitter. If we have this one, mixer and splitters and separator, flash, flash tree, decanter, separator, right? And we will involve exchanger, okay? Heater. Okay, just click it and put it there, heater. And then column, reactor, pressure, we will involve pump. Okay, and then compressor. Okay, and then, yeah, just to check, manipulators, solid. Okay, it's interesting, solid separator, cyclone, centrifuge, right? Hopefully we can cover as many cases as possible. So we will go as far as we can. Go back to exchangers. Okay. You can see heater, valve, right? Yeah, heater. I will select heater again. Okay. Oh, I added one more so i will okay too much okay we change it and now drag it right click or we can just delete okay use your keyboard okay move it and delete okay b7 so be careful don't use adding up to many okay all right and now we will create a cycle so first we should turn this one b1 right click rotate flip horizontally okay so we will create cycle okay so far so good and then we will add material you can see material here we click and then we will connect first the output of B4 to be the input of B2. Okay, just by click this one and then click the pump and the connection will be created. And then the output of the pump to this one, the evaporator, very easy. So we will have S2 and then the output of the 
evaporator. So B1 will be the evaporator to the compressor. Okay. And lastly, the compressor to this one, condenser. All right. Right click to change the operation. Okay. Okay, just to make sure the connection is created. Okay. Okay, maybe we can delete it first okay, and then make another material stream this one okay right click all right so we have created a cycle as you can see oh also be careful here delete it make another stream grab the red line the red arrow to this one okay make sure it's quite difficult right but it's okay it's a process of learning all right we will make sure by moving the equipment and let's see if the connection has been generated okay I think it's okay already. So we have compressor here and then the heat exchanger, heat exchanger and also the pump and also the connection. Okay, and then we can rename to make the analysis clearer. Okay, and this one before double click will be our condenser. Okay. Our condenser and B2 should be our pump to increase the pressure, and then this one will be our evaporator. Evaporator, okay, but the letters are limited, so make sure your naming is effective. So we call it evap, and we can call it condense okay and this one is our turbine actually okay and then let's start from s1 the outlet of the condensor is low pressure water so we call it lp water okay lp water so the letter should be connected without space. Be careful there, okay? And then low pressure water coming out from the condenser, all right? And of course, after the pump, we will have high pressure water, okay? And the high pressure water will be evaporated to be high pressure steam. All right, and then the HP steam, the high pressure steam will enter the turbine and then the energy will be extracted. So it will be low pressure stream. I mean, low pressure steam, okay? And then the steam, the low pressure steam will be condensed by the condenser to be low pressure water. All right, so that's quite clear. This is our cycle. Okay, and then we will enter the pump for data input. Double click. So let's check. We have specification, calculation options, flash options, utility comments. The model is pump and the discharge pressure. So we will have three megapascal. Okay, the outlet pressure or the discharge pressure. And let's say the efficiency is one. 
Okay, so far, so good for the pump. And then we go to evaporator folder. We click the evap. And then the, be careful here, flash type, temperature, compressor, I mean the pressure, temperature we set at 600 centigrade, 600 degrees Celsius. And the pressure, we assume isobar operation. So let's find megapascal, three megapascal. Okay. And the valid phases, vapor liquid inside the evaporator. Okay, so far so good. And then we will go to turbine. We can, this one, minimize the pump and we will go to turbine. All right. And change the model from compressor to turbine. And the type will be isentropic. Okay, so we, we will involve isentropic operation here. Okay, so far so good. And isentropic efficiency will be one. And the discharge pressure here, we assume atmospheric pressure. So we can go to ATM, one atmosphere, okay? Or if you change it to megapascal, let's find it, megapascal. This should be 0 0.10, 10135, okay? So the outlet pressure of this turbine will be at one atmosphere. Okay, and then we go to condenser, All right? Condenser from the condenser or within the condenser system, we only involve liquid phase. So we select liquid only and then temperature at 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, the condenser and the pressure also will be at one atmosphere. So we select one atmosphere. Okay, so far so good. And now we will find LP water. Stream, we will find low pressure water. Okay, and then the low pressure water will be at 100 degrees Celsius. The pressure, of course, will be at one atmosphere. Okay, and then the composition, we change to mass flow in kilogram per hour. And the value of the seam will be one kilogram per hour. Okay, so far so good. We are now inside the LP water. You can see also the evaporator or the heater. And we can go back to main flow sheet. Okay. This is our system. And then we can click run to run the simulation. Okay, the simulation has been completed. All right, or it's still in process. You can see, and we will wait. All right, the simulation has been completed. Now we can check the results. First, we will go to evaporator, right click, check results. And we will have a new window here for the evaporator. And you can see the heat duty in color per second. We prefer kilojoule per hour. All right. so. The heat duty is 3,260 kilojoule per hour, the evaporator, okay? So the, the heat, the energy that is involved to heat the water from high pressure water to high pressure steam is this value, 
3,000 to 260 kilojoule per hour. You can also convert the net duty to kilojoule per hour. Okay, the same. This is inside the results for the evaporator. Okay, so far so good. So we get one result there. Go back to main flow ship. And what is also important is the results from turbine. So we can go to turbine and check the results. Okay, we can check the results from the folder or right click and get the results. All right, so this is the results from the compressor or the turbine. And you can see the network required is this one. Okay, minus 0 0.263 kilowatt. Okay, and of course you can see the efficiency and because we are using or we are operating under isentropic temperature so the outlet temperature and the isentropic outlet temperature are the same okay and you can see again the network required is this one okay which means the network required to convert the hp steam high pressure steam to low pressure steam is this one okay so we produce the work because we we extract the energy and we turn it to to be work from high pressure steam to low pressure steam okay of course there is a decrease in energy and the decrease in energy we extract we get that energy back and turn it to work right so this is the thermodynamic cycle the Rankine cycle and we have modeled the cycle using Aspen Plus and I think that's all I hope you enjoyed the video I hope the video is useful thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Aspen Plus videos thank you